Prime Minister, Associate Minister of Local Government, the Honourable Louise Upston, Minister of Revenue and State Owned Enterprises, the Honourable Todd McClay, Deputy Leader of New Zealand First uh, and former Mayor of Carterton, Ron Mark. I haven't seen him yet, but I think he's here somewhere. Uh, welcome. Honoured guests, uh, distinguished guests, partners of the local government sector, and most importantly, members of Local Government New Zealand and its wider family and members of local government. Kia ora and welcome to the 2015 Local Government New Zealand Conference. It's an honour to be here in Rotorua, and Prime Minister, it's an honour to have you here as part of our opening. It's nice to see when you come back from holiday, holiday that you get into the big stuff early on, so it's, it's great to have you here. One of the many prominent visitors in the city, George Bernard Shaw, said, progress is impossible without change. What was true eight decades ago is highly relevant to local government today. Local government New Zealand and its constituent members are embarking on one of the most far-reaching changes to local government seen in New Zealand. We are doing this to put ourselves and our communities in the best position to manage significant issues such as regional economic development, demographic shifts, climate change and the impact of technological change and global market forces. The reforms are not structural or impose changes that grab headlines. As councils and as a sector, local government is advancing a comprehensive performance uplift programme to show leadership and to lift performance of services we offer our communities to increase value, change perceptions and, importantly, future-proof communities. We are doing this because we know local government is performing well in many areas, however we can do better in others. We know there is more value and leadership to be realised from local government at a community, regional and national level. We know we can tell our story better and we know we can earn a better reputation. Most importantly, we know what customers and constituents want. Last year we were bold enough to ask communities, local businesses and national stakeholders what they wanted from local government. They think local government is important. They want us to succeed. But they said there are areas where we can do better. It became even more apparent that a new approach was essential to make progress. These changes involve how well we perform, particularly in leadership, financial management and communications. And the Performance Uplift Programme and other delivery initiatives mean effective actions to improve and realise more real and perceived value out of our se sector are required and will be rewarded. Change means cultural shifts. How we see our communities and regions, our services, our role, how we do business, how we interact with business, how we consult with our public, how we work and how we communicate are all areas which will be targeted in this programme. I understand, and I'm sure many of you do, that change can be challenging. But if we get this right, it will also be incredibly rewarding. The real difference is that our changes are consensual and by sector agreement. Local Government New Zealand has consulted every council in New Zealand, many stakeholders, central government, and we've all arrived at what we think is a good performance uplift programme. This is a pleasing strategic conversation for us, and it's about the real issues and topics that matter to delivering improved performances by Council and the local government sector. I want to acknowledge all of you in this room for contributing to the, this new direction of change. Prime Minister, Ministers, ladies and gentlemen, three years ago central government legislated for local government to be better. We are working more effectively as a sector and we are being recognised for it. Today we have increasing momentum for positive and self-directed change. I am confident that we can and must go beyond better local government 
and we must aim to be best local government. Best local government means strong leadership and effective delivery of services locally that are valued by our communities, regions and businesses and other stakeholders and importantly by the nation of New Zealand. This is a highly valuable and accountable process for change. All of us in this room are responsible for it. While there is no end point, our direction is clear. Through our work, there will be local, regional and national benefits. We must provide better essential services and valuable services every day. We must work more closely with communities, regions, businesses and stakeholders to listen and solve important issues. Issues that are challenging, difficult, complex and even politically contentious. We will continue to promote our communities and regions as great places to live and work, just as Mayor Chadwick has just done. We will fundamentally help in delivering stronger economic growth to match up with the government's agenda of lifting GDP. We just need to move beyond saying it's OK, we need it to be the best. Prime Minister, let me address the national interest issue, seeing you're sitting amongst us. Local government works for communities and regions, and importantly for New Zealand. Central and local government should march together, should work together, and should be true partners. Up until relative recent, relatively recently, it has bemused me that we can't seem to get on the same page about some fundamentally important issues. But I'm pleased to advise this conference that I think things are changing. We are considering what is in the best interest of New Zealand, whether that is a central or local government. The differences between central and local government is something that is often commented by media and others who relish in the differences. But actually, when you stand back from it, both forms of government are trying to do the same thing. We want the best for our communities, we want the best for our people, and we want the best for New Zealand. This is why we will assiduously champion, champion urban, rural, provincial and regional New Zealand. Not one against the other, or one's better than the other. They all are important to New Zealand's success. We want a country where there is no urban, provincial divide where opportunities are realised in Opotiki as they are in Auckland. Stronger communities and regions across New Zealand mean a stronger total New Zealand, and that is good for all of us. The important and significant thing I'm about to say, Prime Minister, I want to thank you for. Central and local government, for the first time, have an agreed set of priorities. Areas that we'll work on together over the next term to effectively make New Zealand a better place. I am pleased to jointly announce this with the Prime Minister, even though he's not saying anything, I'm announcing it and he said yes. Um, that the central and local government have agreed on these three priorities. One, creating strong regional economies across all of New Zealand. Two, providing resilient local infrastructure, and three, ensuring resilient communities across New Zealand. Those are high-level principles and pieces of work that we actually haven't tackled before together. And I want to acknowledge you, Prime Minister, Minister Upston, Minister Bennett, uh, also for the work they've done in allowing us to form this relationship. These priorities represent bridging the central local government divide and fundamentally a new era in mutual respect between both arms of government. The priorities all build, also build off areas where we are already working closely together with government and these are areas around the local government funding agency where we have established savings significant to our communities from a new idea and a new concept around debt management. The Three Waters project has developed from a one line in an infrastructure strategy 
to a fundamental piece of work that will make sure that New Zealand has first class yet affordable and efficient three water infrastructure. We have a brand new relationship with NZTA and a partnership. If you'd asked me five years ago would we have got the far rate with you through the one wet network road classification system through without a lot of blood on the floor? No, we wouldn't have. But we have got those through, and that's thanks to a new way of dealing, doing business and a new level of thinking, strategic thinking, that is. Our recently announced work with the Crown, the look into the Prudential Local Government Risk Agency, is another one. This is not about tinkering the insurance market. It is about understanding where the risks are, what are the long-term strategies, where things should be built, how do, we risk, how do we think of risk together between central and local government. These are massive pieces of work, the type of work we haven't been able to consider in the past because there hasn't been the mutual respect or necessarily the mutual understanding. There will be a work plan to implement each of these priorities which will have, include the actions above. The priorities I've announced jointly with the government will form the basis of our performance uplift programme and other initiatives with local government. Together the agreed priorities, the performance uplift programme and other initiatives will build on the progress we have made. With our partners, stakeholders, communities and regions, local government and local government New Zealand are leading the charge for our communities across this nation. This is a great start to be the best local government for New Zealand. It is also a great start for the 2015 conference. And ladies and gentlemen, on that positive note, I formally declare the conference open and invite the Honourable John Key, Prime Minister, to address you. Thank you very much.